Tourism is the lifeblood of the Cook Islands. This year, it's expected 100,000 tourists will arrive in Rarotonga, the main island of the Cook Islands group. These visitors help create an impression of universal prosperity, but this isn't the full story. The 15 islands of the Cook Islands are scattered over 2 million square kilometers of ocean. Looking after these small, isolated communities with few natural resources is a continuing challenge for the Cook Islands government. The New Zealand Aid Programme contributes to development programmes focused primarily on sustainable development initiatives, plus supporting education and governance programmes. New Zealand also helps in emergencies. When Cyclone Pat destroyed or damaged 60% of the houses on the island of Akutaki, the aid programme contributed 6.4 million to the rebuild of houses and public infrastructure. But while these large-scale projects are important, New Zealand Aid doesn't forget that sometimes small amounts of funding can make a significant difference. In 1969, Mike Weber, a Whanganui optometrist, learned hundreds of Cook Islanders suffered eye conditions that, if left untreated, would lead to blindness. So he decided to do something to help. This one-man band soon grew into a team of willing volunteers that evolved into the New Zealand Aid Eye Care Team. Visual impairment doesn't just affect the individual. Often other members of a family are required to support the afflicted person, and this can cause economic hardship. This year, the eye care team's advanced group of optometrists, including 74-year-old Weber, traveled to the southern group of islands. This one. Oh, oh dangerous, that one. Every day, 60 to 80 patients are seen. Most only need new reading glasses, but this triage identifies those showing signs of diabetes or macular degeneration for referral to the specialist team back in Rarotonga. Blindness among diabetics is 10 times the rate of the general population, and Polynesians have the world's highest incidence of type 2 diabetes. A sight-threatening complication is characterized by the retina displaying dot and blotch hemorrhages. Using a surgical laser loaned by Zeiss New Zealand is quick and effective in cauterizing blood leakages. During the course of their visit to the Cook Islands, the eye care team carried out examinations on the eyes of 970 Cook Islanders and performed cataract or laser surgery on 120 of these patients, setting a new record for the New Zealand aid eye care team. For cataract patients afflicted by varying degrees of blindness, the surgery carried out by eye care team leader, Dr. Paul Rosser, produced something akin to a miracle. Pick out the lens here. There's a lens going into the eye. The day after surgery, the patient's delight in seeing again was universally expressed in words and beaming smiles. It's done. It's done. <laughs> Once again, the New Zealand Aid Eye Care team flew out of Rarotonga, satisfied with what had been achieved for so many by so few. <laughs> Ide va tuena te moana te anei.